Hello, welcome to this new video of MATS 401 Dynamic Optimization. So today we're going to look at the problem. It's called the knapsack problem or the backpack problem. So how does the problem look like? Well, you have a knapsack and you want to put some items in the knapsack. But the knapsack can only hold so many, let's say, kilos, right? And the idea is that every item has a certain weight and it has value. And you want to put items in the knapsack such that you don't surpass the capacity or the weight, total weight that can be put in the knapsack, but at the same time you would like to maximize the value uh, of the items in the knapsack. Okay, so this is an example. You have four items. Every item has a weight, W i for item i. For example, item 1 has a weight 1, item 2 has a weight 3, and so on. And then also every uh, item has a value. For example, item 1 has value 1, item 2 has value 4, and so on. Okay. And you have a total capacity, which we will denote by m, of 7. So now the question is, what should I put in the knapsack? So for example, I can add uh, item 4 in the knapsack. It has a weight of 5, and then maybe I can add item 1 to it. So there's a total weight of six and that's it right i cannot add an addition item two or three because then the total amount of uh, weight in the knapsack will be higher than seven so if i would put item four and one i would have a total value of eight okay so that's so item one and item four a uh, total weight of six which fits into the knapsack and i have a value of eight Okay, so this would be if I, for example, first put the, the item at the highest value in the knapsack and then see what's uh, left. But I could, for example, also put items 2 and 3 together in the knapsack, right? So this is a 7, weight 7, so this fits into the knapsack. And this would give me a value of, uh, this would be value of 4 plus 5 would be 9. Okay, so it's not always the case that you first uh, look at the item at the highest value. Uh, value or the lowest weight to put in the knapsack, right? So it's not a clear cut. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a clear cut solution to this problem. Okay, so what could you do? You could go for every possible combination of items, of course, that don't exceed capacity. Look every time at the total value of the knapsack and then put the one that has maximum value. Of course, this is a very inefficient uh, procedure because the number of subsets. Uh, with a certain capacity, this is normally going to be quite a big number. Here I only have four items, so you can actually do it. But let's say that I have 1000 items uh, with a certain capacity, then looking at every possible combination is going to be a very, very large number of subsets. Okay, so here we're going to look at a dynamic uh, programming solution. So we're going to have a value function v, okay, that is going to give you the uh, optimal value of a certain knapsack. And you're going to have a state variable. Okay. So we're going to let uh, the state, you're going to have a certain state, sorry. So we're going to have, let the state depend on the capacity, right? Um, and also on the subset of items that we would like to put in the knapsack, right? So this can be a subset of all the items that we consider. So let this be S. Okay, so M is the capacity and then s is the subset of items and vms is then the maximum value in a knapsack of capacity m given what you can put in a knapsack are the items in s okay and we would like to write this as something that may depend on v but then for lower maybe lower value of m and a lower and a subset of s right so we have some kind of recursive uh, system okay so let's think about let's pick an item i and an s right and let's look at v m of s then for this value there's a particular subset of s that will be in a knapsack okay which will generate this optimal value so take one particular item, and then there are, of course, two possibilities. Either i is in the optim in, so i is in the optimal 
knapsack okay i can put i in a knapsack or i is not in the optimal it's not in the optimal knapsack okay so if i is in the optimal knapsack what do i know well i know that the total value here will include the value of item i okay so the, this v will have xi which is the value of item i okay and then in addition it will have the value of something with capacity m minus the weight of i okay because i have added item i and s minus i okay and by optimality it has to be the optimal knapsack that i can make with this capacity given this subset of items okay in other words, if I is in the optimal knapsack, then what do I know? Well, I know that the value is equal to the value of item I plus the optimal knapsack that I could make given this capacity and this uh, subset of items. Okay, so that's the recursive uh, nature. If I is not in the optimal knapsack, well, I know that V M of, M of S will be equal to V M of S minus I. Okay, the optimal knapsack Given the subset without i will be equal to the optimal knapsack when I include i into the uh, set of items. <clears throat> so why is this? This is because apparently it's optimal that i is not in the knapsack. Okay, and one case for which this is true is obviously when the weight of i uh, is bigger than m, right? If the weight of i is bigger than the capacity, I cannot include it in the knapsack. Okay, also if uh, this is true. Okay, so given these ingredients, I can write my Bellman equation. Why is this? Well, either I will be in the optimal knapsack or I will not be in the optimal knapsack. Which one of the two will be the case? Well, it will be the case if this here is bigger than this here, I will put I in the optimal knapsack, right? Because this, uh, this value gives, uh, it's higher than this value, right? If this here is bigger than this here, then I will not put i not in the knapsack. Okay, so I can write v and s will be equal to maximum of xi plus vm minus the weight of item i of the set of items s minus i or uh, vm s minus i okay and this is in the case where the weight of i is less or equal to the capacity or it will be equal to vm s minus i if the weight of i is bigger than the capacity okay then it's simple including i is not going to increase my value because i cannot include it in a Okay, so this is my Bellman equation that I need to solve. And of course, in order to, you see here that VMS is written in terms of a lower M here and a subset of S here, or the same M, but a subset of S, right? So this is the recursive structure, or it's written for the same value of M and a subset of S. Okay, so I need to have the base cases, base cases, which will occur if either m is equal to zero and I still have a subset, right? So if I have a knapsack with zero capacity and a certain set of items, well, then I know that my optimal value will be zero, right? Because I cannot put anything in the knapsack. On the other hand, if I have, uh, sorry, knapsack of a certain capacity, but my set of items that I can pick to put in the knapsack is the empty set, then again, I will have zero uh, value, right? Because I cannot put anything inside because I have nothing to pick from. Okay, so these are the base cases. And given these, you can build up again a table, as we will show in a minute, in order to compute this for every M and every uh, S. Okay, so let's try to make the table for this example here. So what will I do? In the column, I will put the subset of S. Right, so 
I can start with item one and then build up element by element. So here I have item two and one. Here I have item three, two, one, and uh, yeah, four items in total, four, three, two, one. Okay. And then here in the rows, I will put the uh, capacity, right? So let me add the empty subset here. Capacity of zero, capacity of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and I already have the base cases when I cannot put anything in my knapsack. These will all be zero. Okay, if the capacity is zero, this will also be zero. Okay, so these are my base cases. And now the question is, I would like to fill in all these uh, elements here. Okay, and for this, I'm going to use uh, this recursion. Okay. So let's have a capacity of one. Maybe I can also put a weight here. So this the one has a weight of one, two has a weight of uh, three, three has a weight of four, and four has a weight of five. Okay, let me put a circle around this here. And then maybe I can also put the value of the item. So this has a value of one. Let me put this in squares. This has two has a value of four, three has a value of uh, five, and four has a value of seven, right? So I know which, how to add and whatnot. Okay, so if I have a capacity of one, what, let me write it here, EMS is equal to the maximum of um, VM minus WI of s minus i that's the first item or v m s minus i okay in case uh, the weight i is lower or equal to m and otherwise it's equal to v m s minus i if the weight of i would be bigger than m okay so what's vms minus i? This here, this is just the element to the left. Okay, you uh, subtract s and stay in the same row. Okay, so that's here. vm minus wi, this is going to be in the row m minus wi. Uh, okay, and s minus i is going to be one to the left. So we're going to go one to the left and then up depending on the weight uh, here. Okay, so here for one, you have a weight of one. Okay, so either it will be the element to the left, that's the second one here, zero, or it will be one to the left, and here uh, the weight is one, so I have to go one up, right? So this is zero plus the value of item one, which is equal to one. Okay, so it will be either the maximum of zero or the maximum of zero plus one, which is one. So here I will have a one. Okay, so we already have the first element. So here, if I see if I want to add item number two, so either it will be to the left, which is one, or it will be to the left and three elements up, because that's the weight, the three elements up. So here we're in this case where the weight is bigger than M, so we just go one to the left, which is one. Here in this case, four is also bigger than one, so we don't have, we cannot go up enough, so we just take the element to the left, which is one, and here again, we just take the element to the left, which is one. Okay, so here either we go with zero or we go to the left and one up, which is zero plus the value, which is one. So this is again one. Here the weight is bigger than two. So the weight is bigger than two. So we go to the left, the weight is bigger than two. So we go to the left, right? So these are all very easy to fill in. Here for three, you have the same, either zero or zero plus one. So this is one. Here now, because we have a weight of three, either we go to the left, which is one, or we go to the left and three up, which brings us to zero. And then we can add the value of four. So maximum of one and four, this is four, right? So I'm going to put item two in the knapsack if there's a capacity of three. Here we go to the left, which is four. 
but the weight is bigger than three so we only consider this one so this is four and here also okay so here maximum of zero and zero plus one is one again the maximum of one and one plus minus three is one plus four is five okay so here we will have a total of five here we have a capacity of 4 and a weight of 4, so we have either the maximum of 5 or 0 plus 5, which is 5, right? So I'm indifferent between either adding 2 and 1 together or only adding item 4 here, okay? And here we have a, capacity, uh, a weight of 5, which is bigger than 4, so we just copy the one on the left, which is uh, 5. Here again maximum of 0 and 0 plus 1, which is 1. Here, the maximum of 1 or 1 plus, I have to go 3 up, which brings me a 2. Here, we have a value of 1. 1 plus the value of item 2, which is 4. So we have a 5 here. Here, we have a maximum of 5. And uh, here, we have a weight of 4. So we go to 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 is bigger than 5, so here we have a value of 6. And here, finally, we have a weight that's equal to the capacity, so we have either the maximum of 6, or going 5 rows up, we have 0, 0 plus 7 is 7. Okay, so here we just, for this capacity, the best thing that we can do is uh, add the fourth item. This stays 1. Here we have the maximum of 1 and 6 minus 3 is 3, is 1 plus 4 is 5. Here we have the maximum of 5 and uh, 6, so we have 2, 2 plus, uh, it's the value of 1, <laughs> 1 plus 5 is 6. We have a lot of numbers uh, floating around. Um, so this is maximum of 6 and minus 5 being 1, 1 plus 7 is 8. So here we have it. Okay, here we will have a one. Here we have a maximum of one or uh, three below is this one here, plus one is five. This is a maximum of five and um, so bring me four. Four plus five will be nine here. And here we have the maximum of nine and um, 7 minus 5 is 2, 1, 1 plus 7 is 8, maximum is 9. Okay, so here we see that here we have the optimal weight, it will be this one, here it will be this one, here it will be this one, here this will be the maximum, here this will give you the maximum, here this one and here this one, right? So we can uh, somehow see where is the optimal uh, uh, composition of our knapsack. Okay, but finally with the weight of 7 we have a total value of 9. And you see we have to add item number 4. If you add item number 4 this has a weight of 4. So if you go 4 up we we'll arrive here. And this here says we have to also add item uh, here we have item number 3. Here we ha have to add item number 2. So this has a, a weight of 3, and then we have go 3 up here, right at 0. Okay, so we have items 2 and 3 in our knapsack. Okay, so let's now look at complexity, right? So how long does it take us to compute this entire table? Well, first of all, you have to fill in M rows, okay? And then for every row, we have to fill in depending on the number of items uh, columns. So this depends on the, the size of the set S. Okay, so this is of the order M uh, times S. Okay, so let's now look at uh, how we're going to code this in uh, Julia. Okay, so here I'm at uh, Julia. I already made a vector of weights. So this is the weight of item one, the weight of item two is three, the weight of item three is four and so on. And I also made a vector of the values of the different items. The value of item 1, the value of item 2, and so on. Okay, so this is how I'm going to store the inputs. So I'm going to write a function 
knapsack uh, that's going to take the vector of weight, right? And it's going to take the vector of the values. And then I'm going to get the uh, capacity, the maximum capacity that I wanted uh, to compute for. Okay. First of all, let me make a variable n that's going to store uh, the number of items that I have in total. Then I'm going to store my result in a dictionary as before. So this is going to, so the state here is going to be uh, a couple, a tuple. And let me call the first element the, uh, the first element of the tuple is going to be the weight of the knapsack that I'm considering. The second tuple is going to be the subset. All right, so let me index this by the size of the subset of the uh, integer of the largest element in the subset. And then I'm going to have an integer, the value of the uh, uh, largest value knapsack, given the capacity and given the subset. All right, so this is how I'm going to store my V function. And I also want to store the optimal knapsack for a given uh, weight and subset. So I'm also going to store this as a dictionary. I'm going to give it a tuple of capacity and a subset. And then I'm going to give it a vector of ints as an output. Right, so as before, for example, if this result, if I would store this as one, two, this means that I'm going to add items one and two in my knapsack, okay? So this will be then item one, and this will be then item uh, two. Okay. And I'm going to return v and opt in my function. Okay, and at the end I'm going to call knapsack. I'm going to give it the input of weight and value, and then I think my capacity was seven. Okay, so so far it's just going to return an uh, empty dictionary, right? So there's nothing in there yet. So first of all. Let me introduce the base cases, all right? So for, uh, um, for size of the knapsack going from zero to M, I know that V of, um, of the, of size empty set. So here the empty set will be zero items in the set. I'm going to equate this to zero and the optimum subset of items that I can put in my knapsack, if I cannot store anything, is going to be the empty vector. Okay, so this is a base case for uh, empty subsets, and I'm also going to have to consider the base cases uh, when the size is equal to zero. So here I'm going to loop over one to n, over all possible subsets. I already have the empty subset here. Right, I can do it again, but this is not necessary. So V of, if I have zero capacity and a subset of size, uh, let me call this index, this is going to be zero. And the optimal subset, when I have capacity zero, and I have some subset that's going to be the empty subset. I cannot put anything in the knapsack because there's no capacity. Okay, so these are the base cases uh, that I'm filling in. And now I'm gonna have to loop, right? So I have to fill in my table. So I have, let me fill it in row by row. So for size equal to one to M, and then I have to fill in every column. So for index equal one to N, and then I'm going to have to update my Bellman equation and end the two loops. All right, so let's uh, you put the Bellman equation again. So I had that V of size of index was equal to, so there were uh, two cases. So if the weight of the index, okay, was below the size, then V size of index was the maximum of V, and now I have to think size minus weight index 
index minus 1, and then I have to add the value of uh, index. This was when I put the last element into my knapsack. Or if I don't do it, then I just have to add uh, v of size index minus 1. Okay, and then I had a case um, if weight index is bigger than size, well then I simply have to put v size index equal to the v of size of the same knapsack index minus 1, right? The subset uh, in the column before. Alright, so let me write this in, in Julia code. So it's an if condition. If the weight of index now square brackets is lower or equal to size, and if it would happen that value of index plus v of um, size minus weight of index index minus 1 um, is bigger than v of size index minus 1. Okay, well then I'm going to put the item in my knapsack. Okay, then v of size index is equal to value index plus v size minus weight index um, of index minus 1. That's it, right? That's my optimal value, right? The value of the item that I put in there plus v of the, what's the capacity at size minus weight index and then for the subset, uh, not including the last item. And then my opt, what my knapsack is going to look like. Size index is going to be, so first I'm going to do it in two steps, right? I'm going to copy the knapsack of size minus weight index, index minus one. And then I'm going to add the last index to this. So I'm, you can add a vector an item to a vector by pushing it onto the vector. So I'm going to push in opt size index. What I'm going to push is the last item, which is index. Okay. So this is if I want to include the last item in my knapsack, else, well, v size index will be equal to v of size index minus one and opt of size index will be equal to, I'm going to copy the opt of size index minus one. Okay. So I'm going not, in this case, I'm not going to put the last item to my knapsack. Okay. So I'm going to finish all these end clauses and then going to return the optimal solution. Okay, so there's a high probability that I made some typos. So let's see if this returns something. Yes, it returns something. That's good. So let me look at V of, um, so my capacity was seven, right? This is the seven that I put in here. And how many items do I have in total? I have one, two, three, four items. So I look at V seven, four. So what's the value of the optimal knapsack? It's nine. Right, this is what I had at the last uh, row of my table, and what I'm going to, which items am I going to put in there? Well, this is going to give me a vector, so I'm going to put item two and item three in there, which gives me an optimal value of nine. Okay, so it seems like I haven't made any uh, typos so far. So what you can do is you can, of course, extend this here. For example, I could uh, add an item of weight. Uh, three, also, and maybe a value of three, again, put an item of weight seven, 
and then a value of 10 right so here I have now one two three four five six items let me read it in and maybe I would like to add some more weight so let's go to 20 okay so if I have a knapsack of size 20 with these seven items Right, so what's the problem here? I have seven items, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I have six items, sorry, this is why. So this is a value of 27. And which items are am I going to put in my knapsack? Well, I'm going to put items one, two, three, four, and six in there. So I'm going to leave five out of this. Okay, so this is how you can add more weights, add more values, and change the capacity. Okay, so thank you for watching.